Buongiorno YouTube, it's Trevor here, Summit or Nothing. Back with the patrons today. Say hello everyone. Hello. 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 Mudsy, David. Waffle. Waffle, Johnny Waffle. <laughs> Johnny Waffle. <laughs> then we've got some more over there, go and see them in a minute. We're at uh, Portland, we're having a patron wild, well, nearly wild camp, isn't it? Yeah. We're in a campsite, but we're going to go and do a walk on, pa uh, on Portland tomorrow. <laughs> Visit Portland Bill. A uh, bit of a balls up, because we booked this originally earlier in the year, and then I was ill, and there was a storm, and it got cancelled and moved to today. And everyone who booked originally, we transferred everyone over, but when we turned up, they, our names weren't on the list. My name wasn't even on the list, and I organised it badly, I must add. But we're here now. Who have we got over here? Jeff. Pat. Pat, yeah, man. Stu, good. Elizabeth, Hello. and Rory. How do you? So they're keeping over this side. They don't want to mix with <laughs> us over there and rabble for some reason. Are you all doing all right? Yeah, not pretty bad. Good weather for it. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah. yeah, been to Portland before? A long time ago. Yeah, yeah we grew up in Dorchester, so. Oh, right. Yeah, it was down here. Local for you. Long time ago, though. Oh, I've never been. No. no. Too far out of Cornwall. Yeah. <laughs> Too far north. <laughs> I'm surprised they let you out. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're meeting uh, Rob from the podcast Up the Trail. Uh, he lives on Portland and he's going to sort of hopefully be our guide tomorrow. Um, but tonight we're going to, we've got fire pit. We're going to have a bit of a social around the fire pit and a uh, few drinks, a few foods. Anyway, I'm going to set my tent up. Boom! There we go. Star River 2. That's what I'm in. Let's have a look here. Who's is this? This is, oh, is it? Dave, he's over there in the Wild Country Severus one. Darren, we've met Darren before in this tent. You have. Yeah. Still going strong. Still going strong. And Johnny Waffle, you've got the. What is this it, the is Triffin? mine. This is a Triffin 200. This is not my usual wild camping tent. No. This is this is something I bought for me and the wife if we ever go together. Because it's actually loads of room in there, really isn't it? big. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Yeah, he's and it. Oh, and I got a bit of head height. I can yep. actually get up in there and maybe have a dance later on. <laughs> Here we go, look at this. Bit of shade. That's quite the tarp there, Dave. Yeah, useful bits of kit, aren't they? Yeah. So, what tent are you in tonight then, Stu? Uh, I've got Rory's MSR Hubba NX. Oh, yeah. So, I've worked one for a while and I just wanted to kind of road test it. Yeah. Because um, when I start doing the coast path at some point, I want a kind of nice white tent. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Good so, so is that the Hubba Hubba? That's say? just the Hubba and it's the one man. Oh, right. Hubba Hubba's got the two best of wheels, but yeah, it's like 1.2 kilos, isn't it? 1.29 kilos. Yeah, well, that's good, good weight. Yeah, that's a nice little tent. Packed out in the, the lantern half tent again. <laughs> Strange looking thing, isn't it? <laughs> the, the tent, not Pat. And then the Cloud Peak, I thought this was the Vic 2, but this is Rory and Elizabeth in the Cloud Peak. They just haven't got the the uh, oak, the rain cover on it. Try, try and straighten her out a bit more if you want. This Mads, he's got his van with it all in, and he's in the MSR. Oh, MSR Hubba NX. NX. Tiny. Oh, so that's a one man, yeah? Oh, yeah. One man, yeah. Sorry, Trev. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know when I'm shunned. Again, there he is. There's the woodsman, the fire starter. Get Rory. Going. So, yeah, Rory's well, bought this. Is your fire pit as well? You said, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, got some logs. He's a logger, <laughs> can't see many. So, we've had a good afternoon so far. Just sat around chatting in the sun. It's getting yeah, a bit chilly crackers. now, so fire's on. Looking forward to the walk tomorrow, just about. <laughs> yeah, now it's gonna be cracker. Yeah, I do. Rob from off the tra up the trail turned up earlier as well. He's gonna turn up tomorrow, so that's good. He knows all the shortcuts, all the good places to see. All right. Good morning. How was that? It was a good old night. No, sat around, just chatted all night. We didn't leave that little compound. It's the furthest I've been since. So I'm just having a mooch around. So where we are, Sweet Hill Farm. So they told me to do a hashtag for them. Hashtag Sweet Hill Farm. Um, but real nice. 
campsite, good amenities, showers, toilets, the check-in place, I think they do food as well. Going back now. Yeah, Sweet Hill Farm does seem sort of very central to the island, so a good place to call base camp if you haven't visited Portland before. 10 or 12 mile walk that we do today around the island, It'd be good. Morning Roger. Morning. Dave. Morning. What mate? Morning Pat. What's on? Just watching you. You sleep right? Yeah, like a log boy. Yeah, I do. You? Yeah, lovely. That's it. What boy? Morning, bud. Morning, Stu. Morning, mate. You all right? Comfy night? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. A bit warm this morning though. Jesus. I know, yeah. it's nice, isn't it? I fell asleep in my down jacket. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I bet you was warm, man. Well, now and the sun's out. <laughs> so. Morning. Morning. <laughs> How are you doing in there? Uh, I'm, I'm alright, it's quite cool actually. Yeah. Got a nice brew breeze. It's I needed to clear it out. It was a bit windy last night. Oh. Coming out the other end, it was it wasn't the best, to be fair. So, yeah. what a morning. Beautiful, isn't it? Beauty. Warm already. Just doing my washing up from last night. Oh, from your steak. From my was steak it nice? Chip. Yeah, it was lovely. Yeah. yeah really I thought good. you were just about to cook a fly up. Nah. Still happy with the Hilleberg? Yeah. Yeah, can't complain. Yeah. No one would listen. No. No, damn right. Morning. How's it going? How's it going, all right? Yeah, what have you got going? Got potato, carrot, black pudding, sausage, and beans will be going in it in a bit. Mm, nice. All right, so we've had bacon baps from the thing. Gorgeous that was, and a latte. We're all ready now. All ready to go. So Rob's here. He's our guide for the day. Hello, how are we doing? All right, thank you for joining us for this. That's all right. Oh, you're about 20 minutes from my house, so it'd be rude if I didn't come along. Yeah. <laughs> That's ideal. You were meant to work as well, so you managed to. Meant to be working, work. swung that. Um, travellers have turned up on my park oh. this morning, apparently, so oh, right. uh, I don't have to deal with that now either. So ideal, cool. yeah. yeah. Check it out. And we're off. This will be the longest I've walked this year, I think. There's an even intelligence building. Well, that's what I've been told. And then, like, yeah, like I can say, the hotel on the back, flats above the school, which is weird. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't know if they do any, like, due diligence on who's living in the flats above the school. I know, yeah, because you'd have to have like CRB checks you would just hope to walk so. into a school, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah, so, um, and then you've got an industrial estate at the back, so you're really hitting the bright light support, aren't you? Yeah. So, So I'm back out in my uh, Columbia shoes, my new Columbia shoes they sent me. Uh, they're a bit heavier than me conspiracies. And like I say, yeah, they're fraying at the sides. It's not my dog. People said it was my dog eating them. If my dog ate these, they wouldn't be a shoe anymore. But yeah, that, that, that fraying just sort of happened over the day. By the time I got home, it all fraying off. But they are comfortable. They are light. And out of all the shoes I've bought to try and replace the conspiracies, these are the closest I've got to them. So, yeah, happy with them. They're probably a good little shooting spot in the water. Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, it's
group. Really, it's a picturesque place along here. I remember these cliffs. I remember getting a nice shot of my brother Robert along here somewhere, and he's waving with that in the background when we come before. That was for our Macmillan Mighty Hike training we come in. Look at that, it's gorgeous! It's gorgeous! So loads of rock climbers and come to Portland. It's good for if you're into that. Bouldering, plenty to do here. You don't have to just walk and I'll take some the views. Trev, you can come down next, next time you come down. Yeah, we'll I reckon my, I reckon my boy would enjoy it. It's perfect conditions for it today. It's dry, it's warm, but it's not too hot. There's a nice cool breeze, but there's something about the coast. On a nice day, it's nice and blue, dusty tracks. It's awesome. Just heading now into the sculpture park, which I remember being a highlight of the walk. Let's see what these guys think of it. Swift it right up. But not that way, Rob. Go back that way. That was my interaction. I told Rob to come up here then. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it's up there, Rob, I said. Do we need to go back and go up? Yeah, no, then we can see. So once we get, if we stay on the path, there is another one and it brings us out above the Baroque Garden. Yeah. Which is just like a Baroque Garden. And then um, we kind of scroll the way through, but this should bring us back out at the top of the... We'll have a look. Chewing it? Yeah. Having a dump. Eating all your curries all week. <laughs> it's only bant, mate. It's only bants. <laughs> Down here, there is a sculpture by Anthony Gormley, he of Angel of the North. So, one of his early pieces yeah. after he left like art school or whatever, he came down here and did a carving in one of the oh, we're gonna quarry go So, I'll go and show it, yeah. I'm making it sound grander than it is, but it's like he is one of like Britain's greatest art artists ever, so yeah. it really should be celebrated. And yeah, I wouldn't know to look down here either, would you? If you're just walking around, there he is. So that that's still falling. That's a bloke falling to his death. It's called still falling. So. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Oh. Oh, like, it's quite important what piece of art yeah, and up there. Like, <laughs> Sorry, what, what? what are these, Rob? Um, uh, memory stones. <laughs> they're the memory stones, yeah. Sometime in the last 10 years, these were put in and they're all part of a project. Yeah. And they're getting carved up each with a different 
theme or meaning. So over the winter this year, they've done the Ocean Stone. Okay. And they lined that with a project. They, so they're all carved? Some well, of one of them is now. Should you have a look? Yeah. Which one's been carved? This one. This. this. Oh, so the idea oh, on the is, outside? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So they did a project with Greenpeace, because if you just look that way, the next stop is South America. Wow. Right. Um, and about three miles offshore, they've just, uh, they've built an underwater barrier to stop trawlers and it's supposed to be a marine protected area world heritage site and all of that so just to raise awareness for that really and mm. so they had kids my kids and that involved in uh, some of the carving and the project that went on around it so that was like back in february they did the big uh, presentation and that of, of it so mm. Chittle Beach runs from Portland right the way through to West, ba West Bay. It is 18 miles long, a constant beach. Wow. And it's got the um, water running behind it, which is called the Fleet. And um, that's a tidal bit coming in and out. And it's um, the coastal path runs that, but you can do the beach in one thing, but it's very hard going to do the 18 miles on I'll the bet beach. on sand as well, isn't it? Most of it was rocks and pebbles. Oh, was it? Oh, it does, yeah. I don't go on the motorway on the way back. Same on the I'm literally a road. Oh, it's dark in here, Rob. Yeah, and okay. Cool. What are you doing to us? Wow. Is this a fruit <laughs> Where are you bed? taking us? No, this is a dead end. This is, it's been a cunning ruse of mine all the way along. Look, oh, right. right. Acro Pops. Or Cabin in the Woods? Yes, or? I've seen both of them. Nice and cool. It's an interesting little bit for here. No, we didn't do this last time. That's what I mean, it's good if you can get someone who's local. They know where to go, don't they? Take you off the sort of the, the tourist route. Of course, last time it was just the coast path that we were doing, but this is more interesting. Oh, nice and cool in here. Still going. Look at the wind crushing up the side of that no bank. Way. It's like waves. So what's this, the Citadel? This is the back door to HMP Burn, which is uh, where Gary Gertner was kept. Oh, right. Yeah. So. Had a cut out of Prince Andrew on that gate. So is it still a prison? Yeah. Fancy's farm. We're going to go see some wallabies. Just about to make that out in the mist. The white horse. That's the hill where uh, the Grand Old Duke, where the Grand Old Duke of York. Took his uh, 10,000 men, apparently. Never knew that until today. Every day's a school day. Postal, youth, prison. Fuckers. Love them. Oh, it's nice to get in the shade every now and again, isn't it? I wonder how many miles we've done now. I didn't set my view range going. I was meant to do that just to, not to f see the route, but to just, I haven't done anything. And I'm not wearing my watch because I haven't worn that for ages because I haven't been out for ages. It is like being in a foreign country, this part. I said it last time. And uh, I'll say it again, it's just an interesting part of the coast. It feels unlike anything else, anywhere else you've sort of been. It could be in Spain. I've been watching all the old sharps and uh, it reminds me of that, you know? <laughs> right, Pat? 
Yeah, good, mate. You? How are you enjoying it? Loving it, mate. Yeah? Awesome. Interesting, isn't it? Yeah. All the quarries that we've seen looking at earlier and that, and then coming through to it. Such, it's so diverse, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's lovely. Enjoying it, Stu? I am, mate. You? Yeah. yeah oh, you've been here before, obviously. Been here before, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's nice to share it with people. Yeah, it's lovely, mate. You've been here before, but I've you haven't seen all these bits. <laughs> no, no, I haven't been around this way before. No? No. Cool. No. Yeah. Fiona, you enjoying it? I am, yes, yeah. it's great, thank you. Lovely. Rob, you enjoying it? Oh, mate, it's shit, innit? <laughs> No, it's great. Well, to be honest, I haven't been out walking this far for a while. It's, when it's on your doorstep, you know, yeah, you take it for granted. It, yeah. But well, Johnny here has been uh, monitoring my uh, my movements, <laughs> and he's uh, come up with a a theory as to why my shoe is uh, fraying. And he as says, previous video. yeah, he says that when he's watching me walk, especially through these narrow bits, my the sole of my shoe is just scuffing the top of my heel on my shoe. So he thinks that might be what's caused it. And yeah. I think it's because they're quite a wide shoe. I said that in the review, yes, they're they quite are. wide. The last ones weren't quite so wide, but this hasn't happened on all my boots. So maybe they don't need to be quite so wide. Yeah. It's how I walk, isn't it? Yeah. yeah it's my fault. Oh He's off again. This is one that turned up during lockdown. Oh yeah. Just appeared here. Just appeared here. Like we, we came by here in like the May, like Here we are now, ice creams. So we've got some chips yep. going on here. He's just eating his nuts. Nuts. So the nuts in his mouth again. Chips, waffle chips. chips. Waffle chips. Right? Looks, yeah. looks, yeah. looks like I've blown a seal or something. <laughs> <laughs> so, and this is the Lobster Pot <laughs> Cafe. Mm -hmm. I thought you were pointing out at me and saying, there's the lobster. There's the lobster. <laughs> <laughs> it was last time. I probably, yeah, I probably will be after when I want to get in the car. Yeah, it's hot. Well, there we go. Back at the campsite. How was that, everyone? Yeah, it's tiring. All right. It was tiring in the end, wasn't it? It's been a nice long day. Thanks, everyone, for coming. Thank you. All right. Cheers for organising. Yeah, and thanks, Rob, for being our guide. It might have been rude if you turned up, I think, it would have been. Yeah, it would have been. So, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Hopefully, we'll get more footage up soon as well. And, yeah, thanks, everyone, and we'll see you all soon. Cheers!